Hello everyone, Usher here, and I'm here to teach you a tutorial on keyframing and, ba and basically Randy Orton, this Randy Orton Vine thing. So here's a clip I made earlier. So basically we're going to learn that today. So first we got to delete everything so I can teach you how to do it from scratch. What you definitely should know by now is how to actually change the size of an image when you click this little button here it's called the transform tool and it will let you transform this, the size of your image uh, like this so you can like change the size you can change the the, um, the the position like this and there's also some extra cool stuff in case you want to get really creative with your Randy Orton stuff like you use um, distort distort you can like completely like change how the image is like in relation it's really cool you could be completely creative um crop as well which means you can just like crop out an image and this looks like so 3d like it's going backwards into the background and you can move there's so much stuff you can do that this is the button you need to use you can also use chem burns which is like i don't know this is like it's like keyframing but easier but keyframing is how you're going to do this so moving on to the actual randy orton stuff okay so first what you're going to need is you're gonna need your fail clip or your original clip. You take that and you drag it into the timeline. Okay. You just yeah. This is my original one. Okay. Next, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get some audio. Okay. And the audio you're gonna get is the way I did it is I searched for Randy Orton Vine. Randy Orton Vine. Okay. So I did Randy Orton Vine. This thing of three minutes came up. A two and a half, two sixty minutes. I um. I kind of just uh, downloaded it by mp3 and then um, picked out the sound I liked the best and uh, you know you use that one so if you don't have like a program like I do to download you can go to YouTube to mp3 converter and just convert that to mp3 and that'll be good you get the video you convert it you download it it'll be all good okay so that's how you get the audio once you, so then next thing you need to do is you need the actual images of Randy Orton taking you down. So you want to search in Google Images, Randy Orton PNG. So Randy Orton PMG. And you should find some pictures, whatever pictures you want. You're going to need um, some of the pictures of the RKO. So you're going to need the actual RKO where she's actually grabbing the dude's face. Um... Yeah, and these are all PNG. You want to make sure it's PNG by looking at the background. If there's all this checkered stuff there, that means it's um, PNG and it's transparent. So I use this clip. I use the one I've been running. I use the slither thing. But you can use really whatever you want. There's a lot of stuff here that you could use. Okay, so that's how you get that. So you want to download some of the photos. You want to download the music. And that's so that's all you have to do for the first step. That For this the step in uh, how to do the Randy Orton. So then what you're going to do is you're going to grab your audio. See, I took out the, Okay, so let's see. So let's go. This is the one I used. This one. Yeah. This is the one I used. Okay. So, stop messaging me. Right, this is the one I used. Okay, so I use that, so you drag it underneath it. And you want the KO to be like around the same time as when your guy falls over, so. So you just drag it to where you want that to be, so. Yeah, and I think that's pretty good. Okay, so then we also want to cut off the beginning a little bit, if you want, unless you want it to come in later. But. Okay. The next step is you're gonna now get your Randy Orton guy. So you choose if you if you want to do something complicated like have him slither in, then run in, then celebrate at the end as well. But the main thing we're gonna cover right now is um, the actual um, takedown. So so first of all, you drag it in, you see like that. You need to adjust the size. But now I'm gonna teach you something called keyframing. Now this is very important with this kind of thing. So first of all, you drag it out when you want him to come in, when you want him to start grabbing your guy's head. So let's just say I want him to start grabbing the head here. Oh no, wait, not not yet. I want him to start grabbing the head here. Okay, so what I do is, first of all, I'm going to do this. 
You're going to go to the first frame. You can choose the arrow keys to change frames. You're going to go to the first frame, and you want to press this little button right here. This is setting a keyframe. This means that now, this is where your video is going to start. Any changes you make in the future, it's going to slowly transition into that. So, so first of all, I want to make sure it's... Oh, God, I have to go back to the keyframe. Okay, so you want to always make sure you go back to the keyframe. If you press, you see the blue arrows. So if I move forward and I want to go back to the first frame, frame the blue arrow means I'm skipping keyframes. So, here we go. Now, oh, shoot, I keep doing the same thing. Um, okay, back to the keyframe. Okay, now, you want to fit it around his head. You could change his size and whatever with the, these keys, but you fit it ma ma mainly around his head. And then, you're going to... There you go. Okay, now... What you're gonna do is you are going to now you're gonna this is the hard part okay but you're gonna you can move up the fit thing a little bit so you can see closer well if you're fitting it on his head okay next you're gonna press the next frame or yeah so basically you want to go next frame and as it moves the frame moves it's gonna recall it don't worry it's not changing it it's making it recall so if you, if the frame moves you can move Randy Orton to stay on his head and you want to keep moving Randy Orton to stay on his head all throughout the clip so this is gonna take quite a while if you're gonna just keep dragging Randy Orton's head every time frame you move you keep dragging it onto, onto the guy's head okay this is how you keyframe and this will make the picture look like it's animated like it's moving around so you just keep dragging it onto the dude's head over and over and over and over you know how this part takes quite a while over and over and over and you can use this thing to move the picture if you want um, over and over and over and over and over and over and over let's just say now he's taken down so really we can kinda end here this is where I kinda ended it when I did it so then I just changed to him celebrating but um so now if you watch it in uh, full you'll see he just follows the head and you can do whatever you want to make this look more realistic but uh I know it, it kind of doesn't look realistic because he goes around in a circle, but uh, but yeah, that's just how you make it follow him. If you use a better clip, this isn't really the best clip anyway. And then the same thing with all the other pictures of Randy Orton. Let's just say I won't do him slithering at the beginning, but I could show you. So you just use a picture, and you can have him change from one picture to another and still make it look fluid if you just put it right next to where you're going. So this one right here, and you see. So now I'm, I I can have it start small even. You see, I'll have it start small. So I put it small, I go to the first keyframe again, I always remember to set a new keyframe. So here, I'm on the first frame, set a keyframe. Now I can actually now just play it, and whenever I get to a place that I want it to, so let's say, from here, it's going to start, it's going to start this big here. And when and then if I say click here, and I'm like, okay, when it gets to here, I want him to be this big. Okay? So then, he will grow from here to there in that time. And then I can go back to the keyframe where I didn't grow. And I'd be like, now I want him to dance to this side. And then dance to that side. And then jump up here. And then go over there. And then at, when at the very end of the video, I want him to shrink. Wait, I want him to... Let's just say, I want him to shrink down into nothingness and disappear. So... I just have him shrink down. And you just, you, this is the thing about keyframing. You can do whatever you want. So now he's gone. So you see, I can control exactly what he does. So that's how you do the Randy RKO thing. Now next, now we're going to do the wasted thing. So let's say after a Randy RKO is your character, you want him to be wasted. I'm just going get to get of the Randy stuff to, to make this easier. So next, so someone else, uh, the other request for a tutorial was wasted. And um, the way you do this is simply, this is the, how I do it. This is how you make it look really good. So I went to YouTube and I searched... Wasted green green screen. Okay, and what happens is it comes up a wasted green screen. So I just clicked on this and I downloaded it with my program thing. Of course, if you don't have one of those, you can always just copy the link, go to Save from Net or any other one and just insert it and download it. So once you do that, you're gonna you're gonna have it here. Now you're gonna drag it on top of your clip, and you'll see that it's just gonna cover your clip completely. But um, what you're going to do now is going to teach you something called Keyer. So Keyer takes any color and it removes it completely. So for this case, it's green because that's the color it automatically recognizes. Usually that's why green screen is so easy to use. But uh, 
you see now that's to now all you can see is the wasted and the red thing so you put it right over the dude goes ahead and fails and then it's wasted and that's how you do the wasted thing okay um if you want to adjust the the key or like I did in my video, you go to sample color and you just like you make sure to sample the the green screen. So you go, uh, let's go to sample. So you see how you can see like a glow or something. So you take the first of all, you got to get rid of transform. I have to remind you that that's you can select transform to do that. But anyway, so now it kind of gets rid of that thing. And if you drag it into the center, it would look good. But uh, yeah, so that's how you do the wasted thing. And I think that's all that was requested. I don't remember, but uh, if anything else was. So, yeah. This is my tutorials on Randy RKO and the Wasted. And um, if you want to see any other tutorials, put them in the comment section below. Tell me what you want to see. I'll do it for you. Uh, I have a whole bunch of other stuff I can teach you. Thug Life. And I have all this stuff ready set up to make a tutorial. Oh, look, MLG. So, um, so uh, just let me know. Okay. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Subscribe to this channel for more tutorials and go subscribe to my main channel, Asher Halperin, for parkour and cool action. I'll leave a link in the description and also on screen, a notation, card, whatever. Also, I'll, yeah, so subscribe to both channels. Thanks. Bye. Also, thanks to Aaron Singer for coming up with the idea for this tutorial and telling me to do it. I'll also leave a um, link for his channel everywhere. Just all, all, all the links ever. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You see them all. Okay. Well, that was fun. Have fun. A uh, little. Bye.